Michelle Murphy, Research and Policy Analyst at Social Justice Ireland, discusses the issue of rural development. What are the biggest challenges facing rural Ireland? Well, the biggest challenges facing rural Ireland are, I suppose, in a way, depopulation in one sense, in that so many young people from rural Ireland have emigrated since the beginning of the crisis. It's a quarter of all households in rural Ireland have lost um, a young person to emigration since 2007. Then the second issue related to that is the changing demographics, because with so many young people leaving, you have a disproportionate number of older people in rural Ireland who require more care and more services and who are more vulnerable. You also have the issue of the closure of rural schools, rural guard stations, rural post offices and increasing isolation and social exclusion. The other issue then is services and the lack of services available in rural areas and the lack of an integrated public transport system for rural areas. So those are among the main challenges facing rural Ireland and of course unemployment, which is a national challenge, but in rural Ireland the unemployment rate has increased by 192% since the crisis began. So it's a huge crisis in rural Ireland at the moment. And what policy proposals could be implemented to improve the situation? First of all, we would need a new rural development strategy. The last white paper on rural development was published in 2000. Uh, we need a new rural development strategy. This needs to be integrated and it needs to recognise the fact that we have we need to move from a previously agricultural focused idea of rural development towards looking at rural development, linking rural areas to their nearest small town and village, their nearest area of economic interaction because the majority of people in rural Ireland now are not employed in agriculture. We also need to look at perhaps having a minister for rural development or someone with overall responsibility for rural development in government and that rural development should be an integral part of any nat new national spatial strategy and there should also be a rural element to the action plan for jobs and pathways to work which is missing at the moment because if we don't have a rural strategy for job creation then there will be no focus on job creation in rural areas and the decline in employment in rural areas will just continue. In your opinion, what should the focus of rural development policy be between now and 2020? The focus should be how to create sustainable small towns and rural communities. So how do we encourage uh, sustainable small or medium enterprises, micro enterprises, how do we support them to set up? How do we encourage people in rural areas to stay in rural areas, perhaps to come home for young people who've emigrated, to come back to rural areas, to live there, to settle there, and to use the services of local small and medium in businesses? We also need to look at the natural resources and natural capital that rural areas have and capitalise on this in terms of tourism, in terms of promoting the countryside, the scenery, all the natural resources that are available in rural areas. But we also need to look at the provision of public services in rural areas. And finally, how should rural development funding be allocated in order to best address the challenges facing rural Ireland? Rural development funding should be allocated to promote the transition from an agricultural to a rural and regional development agenda and to ensure that the quality of life for all rural dwellers is improved. So this means that that money should be allocated towards addressing and combating social exclusion, addressing the issues of underemployment in rural areas. That is people who are working but are working part-time hours, would like to be working full-time hours, but the full-time hours are not available. We need to make local communities and small towns sustainable. So this money should be used to invest in sustainable businesses and creating sustainable employment that won't move from an area in five or ten years time. Rural economies and people living in rural areas are not reliant solely on agriculture for employment and we also need to recognise that we need to diversify the rural economy in terms of creating sustainable communities and creating sustainable jobs and this is what rural development funding should be allocated for. Between now and 2020, we have an opportunity to address the decline in rural Ireland to, and to address the challenges facing rural Ireland. But in order to do this, we should make sure that the funding available is targeted 
in such a way to best address these challenges and to ensure that we create sustainable communities and encourage people to live in rural